about some folks in the small town of Hebronville and they say it's what they're worried about is a dangerous railroad crossing in that area. Just yesterday an 18 wheeler got stuck at the crossing and a train crashed into it. Our Madeline Dart was in Hebronville for us today. This was the scene on January 14th. A truck trailer stuck at the crossing on South Smith Avenue in Hebronville. Rogelio Alarcon says an incident like this has a ripple effect throughout the whole area. Close the whole town. People were late to work. This is a big deal for our community. This is a main road. Yesterday it caused chaos here in our community for more than four hours. Jim Hall County Judge Juan Carlos Guerra says just six months ago there was a similar crash at the very same crossing. At that time we contacted our state representative, we contacted TxDOT representatives and we had a meeting. The ones that have failed to show up to the meeting or to come and, and discuss the issues or the concerns that we have is Kansas City, which is the railway. Guerra says the steep slope has caused trailers to get stuck. While there are warning signs on both sides of the track, he believes something more must be done. This is very serious for our community. This is a safety hazard. This isn't about signage from TxDOT. This is about what they how they want the roadway or the railway to come in at an elevated area there. I'm just glad that nobody was hurt and he got out in time. Nobody's killed. In a statement, Kansas City Southern said in short, they are not aware of any missed meetings and they are prepared to work with TxDOT and officials to address the crossing. Judge Guerra says he's holding a meeting this week. In February, he will meet with Kansas City Southern. Madeline Dart, 3 News.